everybody welcome back to the channel and another episode of the duelist so some stuff has happened since the last episode of the duelist um the uh the royals took a uh, a good fight in the last battle and they got a lot of damage but they picked up some good gear uh, it seems that in the last episode of the duelist people seem to be okay with me um trading between the units i'm going to try and keep that to a very um uh, uh, like a, a complete minimal um we don't really have anything right now so it's hard to like you know figure out how to get that to work but i think for the first little bit we're probably okay so the hunchback we did a little bit of work on it last time so what i ended up doing was i traded the arrow for urban mech part and the ammo for a pair of machine guns and some heat sinks so what i did was i added two machine guns back in here just to add us, give us a bit more firepower. It's not much, but at close range, it could do a little bit of damage. Maybe get some crits with the AP ammo. And then I added three heat sinks in here just to bring our uh, weight almost up to the top. Plus these things, we don't need it. Our heat is so ridiculously good. Uh, but if we do encounter some mech with like flamers or incendiary ammo or something, it'll definitely help out. This should keep our mobility as basically as good as it can possibly be with what we have. Um, but also too that there if something penetrates and crits the heat sinks have a chance to go as opposed to the ammo or the machine guns so there's a chance that it'll save components if I do it this way so that's kind of what I'm doing now the AP ammo we've only got uh, 200 rounds with four machine guns so if I wind it up to five we got like eight eight turns of firing now they're gonna jam and stuff but that should be plenty of ammo I think for this uh, so that's all I did there, and then I got the Spectre um, up and running. I won't talk about these guys until next um, the next Royal series. But there is, I did wait on the planet, and at the end of the month there was two um, duels that came up. One is a solo, and one is a duo duel. So um, we're going to do the solo one today. Now the duo one, uh, I might, I don't know, I might put a poll down to see if people are okay with me taking the leader of the royals on this mission or if not then we'll just wait and see what happens at the end of the month if something else populates that'd be great um but yeah so um and there was also another comment too about the two pilots that um in the last two uh duelist videos that well i guess it would have been, would have been at the end of the royal video and then at the end of maybe it was they were maybe they were both in the royal video i can't remember but it was the, the, the pilots that were defeated. Um, somebody mentioned that if you say, yes, you'll accept them as bondsmen, then or, or try and take them as bondsmen, they can refuse. So you might be just better off saying no, and then they might show up in the hiring hall. So after this mission, if we get a, if we get a pilot that's up for that, we're going to say no and see what happens. Now, Viragio, I the, the pilot that we picked up in the Royals, um, I don't know if they were um, already in the the hiring hall or not. So we're just going to say that, that they weren't a pilot that we picked up. So the next time we say no, hopefully we can pick up a uh, clan pilot. We'll see what happens. Um, but I'll check the, um, the hiring hall first before we go ahead and refuse. Um, so yeah, uh, let's just take this mission here today. And hope we don't get brutally murdered. Now, I'm going to go full salvage on this. Because um, we're not going to get much sea bills. So, we're going to go ahead and actually just do the load. Clear. Apply. That's so much faster. Um, so, Vengeance and the Hachiman. And let's hope we don't get killed. Yeah, I know we don't have used tonnage, but not much I can do about it. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Same map. Not much we can do about it. Um, so apparently, um, so this is like several days since I recorded the last uh, Royals episode, and we ended up with a bit of an issue there. No idea what this is. We ended up with a bit of an issue as um, hitting reserve ended our turn, and apparently that's been fixed. So I'm just going to go, oh, that, that's a done. You don't want to be a done. So we're going to do the same tactic again. We want to get as close to them as possible. We are a melee mech, and hopefully our stealth will keep us hidden until we get there. Rolling. We'll get there when we get there! Oh, what do we got? 
Oh shoot. This is a um I I know what it is. I'm just hoping it doesn't have a heavy goss. Um Orders? I can't remember the name of it now. It's not a huntsman. It's something like that though. Heading out. Full speed. He's stealthy boy too, eh? Well, if it is relatively stealthy. Shit. I don't like this. No, sir, I don't like it. Let's get up into here. Double time. Let's go. We'll br we'll stop here. They okay, still can't see us. Man, that chameleon is paid for itself already. Uh, we want to try and get as far to this side as possible. Understood. To stop him, from, I should have put the medium laser on the other, or the ER medium on the other arm. To stop him from coming around and getting a shot at us, he still might. It's a Hollander, that was what it was. Now, this is like 45 tons, I think. I think this is a heavy Goss, but he's got no armor, which means Ready if we orders. can close like really, really fast. We might be able to get inside his minimum range. We have to do it. I mean, we can't stay back. We gotta go for it. Did he not see me? Yes, Commander. Do we just go for it or we I think we have to. On the move. I think we just have to go for it. Doesn't have much armor. Okay, pretty good damage. Okay, he goes before us though. This could be real bad. Uh, he's gonna get range on us. Oh, he's running. What the hell? I'm ready. I think that's I think that's the case, is I think he's got a minimum range. And I don't think he can um, he can fire within that minimum range, so as long as we stay close to him. How are we heating up? I mean, we had ridiculously good heat sinking. I mean, no, it's the desert, but still. Let's leave that off. We want to make sure we can get close to him. Firing on rear arc. Nice. Yeah, he's trying to get the ability to shoot at us. Cannot let him have that. Confirmed. Oh man, that could have been bad. I live to serve. Well, it's merely match, so we want to go physical weapon because we are in a hatchet, man. Man, I can't get his side. Ah, crap! I'm risk. I'm running the risk of losing that weapon if I attack him from any of these positions. We could just kick him though. Let's go from the back. The, the melee weapon would be the best, but I think if we kick him... And just go with machine guns. Then it'll be a leg hit and then just machine guns on his back. Ah, it's not even going to be that. This isn't going on my permanent record, is it? Okay, you got crit and rifle. He's fast, I'll give him that. He's gonna play the back game. Ooh, okay. Um I will be done. Mm, I don't really want to crit that crit that Goss rifle anymore, so let's just let's just kick him. I'm going. Hopefully we can take that leg. Good damage. See what he does. Oof. Wait it might just be a regular Goss. So do we... Moving to position. 
What the hell? Ah, oh, for crying out loud. So I kicked him in the torso. I wasn't any higher than him. He was actually higher, slightly higher than me, so... Somehow I kicked him in the torso. No, it was a leg hit. To, oh, I'm, oh my god, I'm looking at my mech. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Oh, man. Alright, let's try and shoot his leg. Nope. <laughs> it's been a long day. Cut me some slack. Oh, we finally got a shot at him now. Um, he's doing a good job of protecting himself, though. No, we want to move. Click on him. Kick. Turn these guys off. And make sure it's a kick and attack. There we go. Oh, we destroyed the torso, too. We got nothing from that. Successful. I seriously didn't think we would go through the torso. Seriously did not think we would go through the torso. Damn it. <laughs> Derp, I thought I kicked him in the leg. So 175 core. I think we're gonna get everything anyway, I think. Almost everything. I think I want to take the core because we gotta get the sentinel up and running as our second mech. No, not sentinel, the um you know what I'm talking about. Our second mech. Spectre. Yeah. So let's take the uh, the core for sure, because then we can get it up and running. Pharaoh and Endo, we don't necessarily need. We do have Pharaoh already and XL Gyro that we can put in our mech, or one of these two mechs. So let's confirm that one. So we've got everything but the heat sinks. That's perfect. So we can sell the cooling. We can sell the standard fusion core, make a little bit of coin. Uh, which is pretty good. Hollander parts. I'll probably trade those to... Yeah, I'll trade those to the Royals. That's nothing. Nice. So I'll trade those two parts to the Royals. The Royal, Yeah, the Royals. And then in the Mech Bay, we've got the Spectre being repaired right now. So it's going to be a, a little bit of time. We really need to get a third Mech Bay up and running, but we just don't have the, uh, the ability to do, yet, do that yet. And i got to get the Royals back. There was some... Um, damage that was done to the Sentinel and the, um, like a few of the mechs had in some internal components that were, were damaged. So I'm working on getting those repaired first, uh, before the Spectre will be up and running. But plus we don't have a second pilot yet. So actually, I'm actually going to advance, since we can't actually run the second, the Royals yet, I'm going to advance the timeline here to see if we get the pilot option. So we do. So no place with us, eh? So let's see if they show up in the hiring hall, which I probably should have checked beforehand, but I'm pretty sure they're... It'll be obvious. Yeah, so these are the same pilots, so they don't show up here. Yeah, that's fine. Next time we'll say yes again and see what happens. We'll just have to keep rolling the dice until we can try and get somebody. I mean, we could always just hire Longshot, but I don't want to do that. I'd rather get a, I'd rather get a pilot. Now, now that I know we can get a pilot the other way, I'd rather do that. Um, see if we can get a Bondsman and hired that way. If not, then we'll figure something out. I mean, we've already got uh, Viragio. Viragio. Uh, in the barracks, so we could just say that maybe she was one of the uh, pilots, aye, but aye. she's I mean, her backstory says she was like an elemental pilot or something, so but anyway, that's that. So if we do um, the Spectre, now we've got it, we've got an engine, we don't have any weapons though, so we made, we made about a hundred thousand off of that last mission. So if we go to the store, there's oh, a few things in here. So there's a medium pulse laser clan for 75. Um, so we could buy that. LBX2 slug. What was up here? Is this an LBX Ultra 2? 
Uh, we need... We need, like, missile weapons anyway. It's mostly missile weapons I'm interested in getting. Uh, we could buy this, and we could buy this. I think we do that. Let's take the clan medium pulse. New weapon systems. And we'll take the ER small. And that's for this for this playthrough. That's the hundred thousand that we made off the mission. New weapon systems available. Perfect. And then the rest was like the seven grand that's left over was for repairs. Because that was like what? Like ninety thousand. So we just spent all of our money. That way I don't have to nickel and dime and keep track of nickels and dimes here and there. Perfect. And then what I'll do. Um, so the next episode will be the Royals for these guys. Anyway, there's going to be more missions of inheritance too going on at the same time. But for these guys, the next mission will be the Royals. Play a mission with them. We've got two pilots out. We've got Tugboat and Wrangler out. So we can just replace them. Uh, with, actually, we may have to wait a bit before we get pilots back anyway. So maybe I'll wait till these two are back. Because we've got a bit of time before the end of the month, so... Shouldn't be too bad, and hopefully we don't get a mission where we're facing two um, two enemy lances again. That was brutal. That last one, I wasn't, I was not prepared for that. So let's go this way. I still got to check that thorn and see how they how badly damaged it is. But I'll make a note of those two weapons. I'm probably going to put the medium pulse laser onto um, the hatchetman and drop the medium laser, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with the sentinel. Sorry, I keep calling it that, the Spectre. Whenever we get that chance to put that up and running. So I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I know it was short, but uh, it's what happens when you're playing duels. <laughs> if there was more than one duel, I'll play them back to back, but we only got one for this one. So there you go. All right. I'm leaving the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. And please have a grace period because it's going to be a couple of, probably be like a little bit um, between comments and how I react to them because I try and batch record stuff because I just don't have the time to do it every, every night. So, um, yeah. So just give it a few uh, episodes before um, comments are processed and stuff gets played in game. And uh, yeah, until next time, we'll see you later.